Hello, everybody. Today, our last lecture. But in this lecture, I put three lectures in one lecture. So I will go very fast and I will focus on some points. And of course, you can read the slides. Then if you have any questions, I am here to answer, okay? Uh, in the final, we will not include, we will include the GUI in your projects, okay? So, there is no uh, questions in the final about GUI, okay? Some small questions, just a small question in multiple choice, small questions, okay? Not a big uh, programs or application. The application will be done using your projects and your projects, okay? So let's start very fast. We'll talk about how to add in Canvas and its item, how to draw inside the graphical user interface, inside the window, how to draw. We'll talk about radio button as example, input and output using function. Then we'll make the first application, DICE, DICE application. Then if you want, optionally, you can convert any application, any Python file to be executable file, to be run in another computer without Python, okay? .exe. So we will convert .py file, .py file to .exe. We'll finish by another example application called password generator application, okay? So we'll go very fast about everything. Now, Canvas, it's very important in Python, especially in Tkinter widget. Canvas widget is used to draw shapes such as lines, oval, polygon, rectangles, and others. Radio button is used to display a number of options as a radio button. The user can select only one option at a time. The menu button or the check button, sorry, the check button here, the user can select multiple options at a time. Radio button, the user can select only one option at a time, okay? And we will put here some function example. Now, the canvas, the canvas, it's 2D collection of graphical objects such as line, circle, and so on, and so on, and so on. It's very powerful widgets and uh, in Python, very powerful. So the syntax will be canvas master option similar to all other widgets. Okay, there are number of options, highlight color, background, curves, width, height, and so on. Example, how to create a line. You need to specify its starting point and ending point. So to draw a line, we need two points. Okay, to draw a line, first, we need to add a canvas. Then inside this canvas, we need to add a line, okay? So, okay, canvas dot create line underscore line x y for point zero x y for point one. So two coordinates. So I will take this example, and there are same 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 option. Example. By default, by default, when you create a canvas you put an area, you put an area called canvas, okay, inside your, win, your main window. So first we create a window. Then we add, we create a canvas, which is, uh, it's not a frame, it's not a frame, it's area where I want to put the shapes, okay? Similar to frame, 
but this is frame only for object shapes, not in the frame, you cannot put objects. In a frame, you can put text, labels, and so on. In canvas, you can put all together. You can put shapes, and also you can put text and so on. So by default, when you create a canvas area, this yellow area, this square area, okay, the X, Y coordinate will start at the top left. Here, X and Y. Here, X zero, Y zero, okay? So if I want to draw this line, the blue line, the first point of this line is X equal 100, Y equal 50. So in Canvas, in Python, the X, Y coordinate is from left to right, from top to bottom, okay? So to create this line, I need to specify these two points. X equal 100, Y equal 50. This is first point. The second point, X equal 200, Y equal 150. So to create this yellow canvas from tkinter import star root equal tk, C equal canvas root, I want to put this canvas inside the root main window. Background is optional, of course. Background equal yellow. And of course, it's optional also height and width. So in this code, I create the yellow shape. This is called canvas. Background yellow, height 250 pixels, width 250 pixels, okay? Then c.pack. C.pack, this shape, this canvas will be put in the center of the one. Now I want to create the line. So just use your canvas, your, our canvas right now called C. Okay, so variable C is the canvas. So C dot create underscore line, first point X, Y, 150. This is X, this is Y. Second point, 200, 150. Optionally, optionally, comma, option, fill equal to blue. I want to color the line equal to blue. Option also, comma, width equal to three or four or five. So I can change the color and the width. So this line will create the blue line. Okay, here in Canvas, no need to put anything after the create line. Just C dot pack, then we create many shapes. Then we finish by root, the main window, dot geometry, 400, 400. So this window, it's 400 pixels, 400 pixels. And we draw inside it a convex 250, 250 pixels. And inside the canvas, we draw, we create a first line. Any question? Any question? No, Perfect. Doctor. Perfect. Now I will go fast. We can create a rectangle. This is the line of the rectangle. Create underscore rectangle. The same of line. We put first corner, second corner. 10, 10 is the first diagonal here. The line of the diagonal. Okay, 10, 10, 250. Then optionally, we can fill with other. Oval, the same, the same. First point, second point is the uh, diagonal in oval, uh, opposite side, okay? The extremely side, okay? Uh, as a fast, let me draw. This is a rectangle. Okay, I want to draw the rectangle. We give him here 10, 10 will be the first point here. 250 will be the, 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 the opposite point here. So as we can draw the diagonal here, okay? We give him to the code only the diagonal points. And 
Python will draw the rectangle. For oval, if this is oval, we give him these two points, this point and this point. Okay, this is the first point. Okay, and this is the second point. So this this oval will be similar to this 10, 10 to 100, 150. Okay, and so on and so on. Okay. Now, continue. Polygon, it's a shape. We can give him many points. Okay, many points. Okay, then automatically the last point will be connected to the first point. Okay, this is called polygon. Arc. Arc. So arc item, draw a portion of an oval. Okay, we have two different uh, type of arc. This is a code. Okay, it's oval, it's a part of oval. It's oval, similar to oval, but we can start by angle here and finish by angle. So it's a oval, but with starting extent by angle, okay? We'll see it in uh, the example. Image, also we can put image inside the canvas. This is, the image will be by two line, two commands. Any variable, my image equal photo image, you can just write, you can put any image in Python in canvas, the image must be PNG, okay? It must be PNG. JPG uh, didn't work, did not work in uh, Congress. PNG. So save your image as PNG. You can put one image or many images, okay? On the same level of your code, the same level. Because here we put file equal, only the file name of the image. If you put it in another uh, directory, so you can here write the, the pass, backslash, C backslash my documents backslash my file and so on and so on. Okay. Then canvas dot create image. Where do you want to put the top left point? I want to place my image after 1010. Okay. This is calling my image, and we have some anchor read about it. here. If we merge all together, similar to here, all our together here, my image, photo image, classroom, same folder, same folder, we'll put the image on the same folder of your file, create image zero, zero. I want to start at the top right, left of uh, the canvas, okay? Image here, my image, okay, anchor NW, we put it, um, uh, okay, then we create rectangle, oval, line, polygon. Okay, this polygon, we can create a variable equal first point, second point, third point, fourth point, fifth point, five points here, coordinates of five points, and we can call it from inside polygon or inside arc. Okay, then root geometry 800, 800. So all of these will generate this, okay? This is the image from starting from zero, zero. This is the oval, rectangle, polygon, line, arc, okay? So this code create, each line create a shape here, okay? This is an example. You can, of course, read, read it and you can test it. Now, let's go to uh, any question about Canvas? Any question here? Okay. Now, adding a radio button. Okay. It's similar to check button, but you can select only 
one option. So it's the same here, but here we set, we define a function. Here we start by function, diff space function cell selection, selection equal, it's another, another variable equal. You selected the option string var dot get. This is the new command here. Okay. Label dot config text equal selection. So here we put a label dot config on, on the application. What is your selection? Okay. So here we have variable equal int variable. By default, it's zero. Radio one, it's a radio button, root, option one, the variable, the same variable here we have, the same variable for three radio buttons. And the same command, when you select this, the selection will convert, you will call the function select cell to display for you this text. So label.config, it is text equal selection, the output here, here we have input and output. Here the output will be as text. The output is, will be as text, the selection text. You select the option plus string var.get. So var.get, when you press any buttons here, there's a value. There is a value. The variable here will be option one, option two, the value one, value two, value three. If the user click on radio one, the var equal to one. So we convert the integer value to the character, to string, because here we have text, the text must be a string. So here we have a function, str, convert this variable to string. So var.get, so after, you select one of these option, option one or two or three. So var.get, it is similar to scan f or input. So the user, when he select one radio button here, the value one example, the value one, then var.get, this one will be entered from the GUI, from the application to the memory. Okay, then convert it to, to be a string, then display it on the text, okay? So this is the option, the output. Option one, option two, option three. If you select option two, this is the display, label.config. Label.config, it's a label, you can, call it inside the function label dot config so here we have uh, you can write your text by configuration config means config configuration it's not a static label it's dynamic label so in dynamic label we put label dot config the selection text which is you selected the option one two or three so here it will be you select the option here we have one or two or three if you click option one, the number two will be one, two or three, okay? So it's just an example because we make last lecture the check button and we can put the input, but we cannot generate a output. So today in this example, this is the output of the section. It, it is the example. So. And when using GUI, the input will be graphically input. The output will be via, always via function. Always via function, and you can call the function. You can create many functions in your, in your GUI application. This is the example. DICE application. Any, anyone have, has any question here? Any question here? No, doctor. Okay, good. Now, the first real application 
big application or small application, dice application, dot exe. I want to convert it to be executable file, dot exe. First, we create joy application, dice one, then update the application to another code, dice two, then we will convert it from Python to be dot exe, to executable file. So first, We'll use label. This label can also contain images. Okay. Here, okay, this is a link where you can learn about 19 widgets. Till now, we took only 10 picenter widgets from 19. Visit this link to learn about the remaining nine uh, widgets and its example, okay? Now, the first UI I want it to be like similar to this. This is the first code, dice number one. So dice number one, if I click the roll the dice, so here I want to create a label, then an image, then a button okay so we have three things here. okay label image button if the user click on this button the function there is inside function to change the dice when you click roll the dice a new dice image will display randomly so here we have from one to six Every time you click here, a random image will be displayed, okay? So if you click here, a new image will be displayed. This is the application that we want to create. Okay, so first we need to create a label, then an image, then a button. But before we do this image, you must put the six images of the dice on the same folder in your code. So first, edit all the image to be the same dimension using any photo editor like Photoshop or other. So similar here, I create these six images, okay, to 20 to 20 pixels. Put all the images inside your project folder, okay? Create your Python file in the same folder. Write your code, enjoy your first UI application. So the first, from tkinter import star, import random, we have here function random. Then we create the main window. Root equal to k, dot geometry 400, 400, title roll the dice. Then I want to create the first label. So L1, it's label number one. Label, root, text, hello. You can write your text here. Backslash N to create a new line, okay? So you can put backslash N inside a text here, okay? So hello, come to one five students, backslash N, new line. Choose a number from one to six, okay? The color red, background yellow, and you can choose the font type also, time 16 bold italic. So all of these are option, okay? Then l1.pack. Now I want to put the images. So first we create a list. Dice equal back open brackets, close brackets. And we put here the items of the list. Die1.png, it, it is the name of your image, picture, okay, PNG picture, type PNG. In Python, you want to specify the type, die1.png, comma, die2.png. This is a string items, okay? It's a list, list of strings. So we create a dice list, okay? Put inside it the title of each file, the title of each file. It's not the image here. We don't have image here, it's only the text. So it is the title of each image. 
So when you create from die one to die six, rename it and put it small letter die one. Okay, the type, all of the types are PNG. Then here we have only the names. Then, then these two lines will be n variable random the choice dice. So here we have select randomly any images from the list dice. So random the choice because we import random library, random the choice dice. So here we have a list. So here we have one of these, one of these randomly, one of these die1.png or die4.png and so on. Okay, so n equal random dot choice. So here we have one of each of these items as title. Now I want to create uh, my photo variable. So my image equal photo image file equal n, n which is one of them. Okay, then. To display the first image when you open the application, then insert image inside label in the next three lines. So label two equal label root image. So here we put image without canvas. We use this application and we don't use canvas, as you can see. Okay, just we can put image inside a label. It's another method to put image on the GUI application. So label two, we put a label and inside this label image, not text. You can put text and you can put image. So image equal my image, which is here. My image is photo image, file and and will be random choice from this list. So we create a list, then use randomly item from the list. Then we use another syntax, which is Photo image, capital P, capital I, photo image, file equal, and you put your file name here. Then create another label and put the image inside this label. Okay. Here, l2.image equal my image. This line, this line is optional and obligatory at the same time. If you omitted this line, when you open your when you open your uh, your application, no image will be displayed. So as the first selection, l2 dot image equal my image. It's another confirmation that keep a reference. Keep a reference when you open your application, then you will get a first image. Then function activate by button here unlike c c plus plus java in python you can write your function anywhere anywhere def new function rolling dice this function called rolling dice if i click the button rolling or next uh, next die this button will call this function so we have built in function no we have customized function here calling rolling dice. Now, another time we repeat all before inside the function. Another value variable m equal random dot choice dice. So here we have another name of pictures. Then my image two equal photo image file equal m. So we repeat the first one. L2 here, but on the same label, on the same label, L2.configure, now I want to go update the label. I want to change the image inside this label. So we use configure. So L2.configure, image equal my image two. So now we update the image inside the label two. Then keep the reference, okay? Now I create B equal button, a button, root text, roll the dice, background and so on here command equal when i press this button command equal rolling dice we're calling this function so this function will 
randomly choice another uh, file name or image name title then put it on the image another image variable then update the same label to update the label by replacing this so we have this if you click the roll the dice the, the function will create a new title of image then will be displayed here this is l1 this is l2 this is the bottom b okay any question no no doctor you can read you can read and test it now the conversion ah now i want to update the dice die one to show the corresponding number from the image similar to this we have image number two we have dice two here we have four how we can do that how we can do that when you roll the dice a new image will be displayed and here we have the number of the image do we need to put a code to scan the image as image processing or Okay, how can we read from the image? So we make, we'll make a trick to read number from the image. How we can do simply here, simply here. We change the code, the same code, the same code. We add something inside. So assume when you call a image, assume it will be die2.png, assume, okay? So now we create another list called list one empty list, and we make appending string to a list. We use plus equal, see the previous lecture. So list one, if we put this, list one plus equal n, n, n will be die2.png. This is the string or word, okay? Die2.png. I want to split, I want to split each character to be an item inside a list. We use concatenation, conversion, string to list. Use plus equal. So list one equal empty, list one plus equal n. Now list one will be like this. We split the text to a list. Each character will be item inside a list. Then the number is on location three, zero, one, two, three. So list one, three equal two. So we take this number two, okay? And we update the function, built-in function. So list two equal empty, list two equal M. Now L2, dot config text list two, we give him the index of the number two or three of this. Update text, no need for reference here. Okay, here we have label three. Here we have label three to put the number. Okay. This is the output. Okay, any question? Any question here? No, nothing, no. Okay, okay. I will stop here.